Hello and welcome to another episode of Drive With Dudes. Today I'm going to show you how to remove a battery from a 2010 Seat Ibiza. First things first, you have to unlock your car to open your bonnet. So on this particular Seat Ibiza, this is a right hand drive for the Irish and UK market. Um, I'm, you know, believe Japan and Malta and lots of other markets like Australia too have right hand drive vehicles but in this case it's in the passenger side so we'll pull it here and you can hear the bonnet open so let's go back outside so once your bonnet's been popped there is a securing latch above the S4 SEA pull that lift the bonnet this particular one is not on gas shocks so you want to lift this up and put that here so before I disconnect the power from any car what I like to do is lock the car first Sorry, lock the car first, not unlock the car, it's already unlocked. Lock the car first on the central locking, and then make sure the actual key works in the door lock. Because sometimes people change door locks, they don't change keys, usually central locking, so you never have to worry about it. But let's double check. So the car should be locked because we locked it on the central locking. Perfect. Perfect. So this particular key works in this particular door lock, which is great because especially you're going to leave the car overnight without any battery in it, you want to make sure all the doors are locked. So we're just going to lock it up again because we no longer need to go inside the car. And we're going to go around the front to disconnect our battery. Okay, so in my case, or in this car's case, get a 3.8 ratchet or a spanner if you have one and a 10 millimeter socket. So always remove the negative lead first to disconnect the circuit in the car. You don't have to take the nut completely off, just loosen it. And there we are. Just uh, tuck that out of the way somewhere. Maybe over here. And on this particular car, this. And undo the 10 millimeter over here. That's loose. Now, please observe on this particular setup, there is a latch here and a latch here that secures to the top of the battery to ensure even if this was not connected, this whole setup, we'll say, we'll call it, isn't actually going anywhere. So I'm going to get a flathead screwdriver and I'm going to prise off these clips so I can lift this off. Once you have your flathead screwdriver, there's actually a nice little handy observation hole on this side. Yeah, perfect. You see that's lifted up. And that's lifted up too. Perfect. So your positive terminal and all the rest of this setup is loose and out of the way. So we're going to try and maybe tuck it under the air intake. Out of the way mostly out of the way and you'll see here when you zoom in that there is a securing latch to hold this battery in place so in the event of an accident or a sudden stop the battery isn't going to jump out the battery leads are only so strong and only can hold it so much so for this we will need a 13 socket and here I prepared earlier is a 13 socket on an extension on an extension on a knuckle because you need the reach. So take your 3.8. Yeah, make sure it's on loosen. I've made that mistake too many times. And uh, undo the bolt. Oh, that one wasn't actually overly tight, so I'll so make sure that's good and tight when it goes back in. And do not lose the bolt. Okay, bolt's out, and the security clip is out. Observe, this is, side is facing the battery, this side is facing away. I'm sure it's different for possibly different types of batteries, but in this case, this side faces the battery, this side does not. So we'll put that out of the way. The battery is no longer secure, and unfortunately, there's no handle on this particular battery. So just try and grip it as best you can, 
and remove it. So this particular battery needs to go on charge. So we're gonna come back later on once it's fully charged up and refit the battery to the car. But if you're actually fitting a brand new battery, then you don't need to charge it. And before I forget, my top tip is get your securing plate for the battery and your bolt. And I like to actually put them back in the place that they were previously. So the orientation, this side facing the battery. And I like to hand tighten that because too many things go missing once you've taken them off. It doesn't even mean if it, you know, it can be a car, it can be anything. So always just put it back, hand tight, just make sure it's not going anywhere. Grab your tools, don't want to leave them outside. Put them somewhere safe. Grab this. Lower your bonnet. And make yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee while your battery's on charge. Okay, so when you're ready to either put your original battery back in after you've charged it, or a brand new battery, you need to first open the bonnet. So because we were careful enough at the beginning to make sure that the door lock actually suits this key or this key suits the door lock, let's go ahead and open our car and open the bonnet. Let's open the bonnet, as we did before. Bonnet in. And you see the plate that we secured previously? Just undo that. bolt and the securing plate, stick it out of here, be careful. So when you're fitting the battery back in, see these hooks here? You need to make sure that the battery slots in under those hooks. So we're gonna try and hold this out of the way as we're putting the battery back in. You can always double check to make sure you're happy with how everything is secured. This battery's not going anywhere. Release the bonnet hook or catch or latch. And there you have it. That's how you remove and refit a battery to a 2010 Seat Ibiza. This particular one is 1.2, but that shouldn't really matter. So thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Drive By Dudes and you can follow us on the usual social media platforms too.